Hey everyone, my name is T-Rex and I'm here to hopefully help you grind out your power in Beyond Light and Season of the Hunt. First things first, why should you listen to me? Well, I am already power 1250 and season rank 100. Uh, what does that mean? That means that I have already hit the uh, hard cap that the game has and I have grinded a lot of experience. Now, that's also because I play a lot of the game. If you're not quite there yet, don't worry. I'm sure you will be if you want to be. So, before we dive too deep into how I do that, let's talk about a few terms that are going to be helpful uh, for us going forward. Soft cap, hard cap, and pinnacle cap. Soft cap is the power that we reference that is 1200. It is that anything in the game, whether you're doing story content, strikes, crucible, uh, you pick up a random chest in the world that spits out a blue helmet at you, those items are going to get you stronger and stronger until you hit 1200 and then they won't anymore. Then there is the uh, hard cap, which you need powerful and pinnacle rewards to get to, and that's 1250, what I have right now. Uh, the way you do that is things you may already be familiar with. You have to play three uh, games in Crucible. You have to turn in eight Gambit Bounties and talk to the Drifter. Uh, you have to do your, you know, three Nightfalls, things like that. It'll give you powerful gear. Uh, I can't really show you an example right now because I have a lot of these things done, but it'll say stuff like that. Powerful gear, tier one. They'll be all over your map. I've already done a lot of them on this character, but they'll have that yellow circle with kind of like the star on the inside. That's how you know you have a pinnacle or powerful reward in that playlist or in that area. Then there's the pinnacle cap. Uh, that is where your powerful rewards will no longer give you power either. You have to do something that says pinnacle activity. Uh, so for example, I have glorious survival that gives me a powerful gear reward if I win seven rounds. That'll actually give me nothing. It'll give me a plus zero. Um, I will have to do something like uh, the new Deepstone Crypt Raid, which isn't out yet, or the 100k Nightfall, things like that. It'll specifically say Pinnacle Drop, and that goes all the way to 1260. So, T-Rex, how do you get there? First, let me go to a character that kind of shows you uh, everything on the map, so it's kind of easier to talk to. So we have my Hunter, who is pretty far behind. Uh, and one more resource I'll show you too, which I'll put in the, uh, the link below, is Destiny Power Bars. Uh, this is a way that you can kind of view your character holistically at any given moment. It loads pretty quickly whenever you get new stuff. And it kind of tells you what you're missing. I did a lot of stuff in my Warlock today to hit 1250. But obviously my Hunter is at 1240, pretty far behind. It shows that the helmet, gauntlets, chest, leg, and Hunter are, or the, the cloak is very far behind. It even suggests that I can do world drops until I hit 1248. It's a pretty handy website, especially if you're kind of newer to grinding power because it'll kind of give you a kind of a guiding hand to what you should be doing next. So let's say you just hit 1200, uh, which I recommend doing that by probably playing the story because the story is pretty chunky in Beyond Light. Uh, plus it allows you to get access to stasis abilities, all that kind of stuff, new quests. It just makes your life easier down the line. That way you don't like hit 1250 and it's like, oh great, now it's time to go to Europa. Uh, two birds, one stone, right? So hitting 1200, pretty easy. Just do anything, invest time, you'll be 1200, promise. So, how to get beyond that to 1230, 1240, 1250? Like I said before, uh, the director has all these powerful gear rewards you can do. Play three strikes with the matching burn and you will get a pinnacle gear. Or do uh, 100k nightfall, pinnacle gear. Three nightfalls of varying difficulties, which it, it's, it's like add up and then here. You know what nightfalls are more than likely. Uh, powerful gear. If you are more of the crucible faring friend, same thing there, pinnacle gear there, powerful gear there. Very straightforward. But what do you do when let's say you are doing these quests and then uh, your armor's behind by, by a, a crap ton. The game is throwing weapons at you left and right. So here's a few examples that you can do. Uh, one, you heard me mention that earlier, you can do uh, eight bounties for let's say Zavala and then get a powerful gear award. Fun fact. That gear reward currently, uh, I don't know if it changes once you get all of the new armor that they gave to these vendors, but once you do it, you will get a guaranteed armor piece. Uh, talk to Zavala or Shax, uh, Gambit Daddy, if that's more your speed, and they will give you an Engram, you give to Raul, it'll be a guaranteed armor piece. That kind of gives you some control over what you're getting. And then there's the other piece of the puzzle. There is the brand spanking new thing in Season of the Hunt that came out today which is why I didn't make this video right away because I felt pretty confident they were gonna make something quite like this. It's also why I hit 1250 today. So, once you do some story stuff, which I won't get into if you haven't seen it yet, 
you will get the Cryptolith Lure. <laughs> what does that do for you? So essentially there's new activity, which you will find out just by playing, that allows you to acquire this, and then you can uh, select different, basically, big baddies to hunt. When you're selecting the big baddie in this first slot of the lure mod, which once again, the game will teach you how to use it, it'll give you a reward content. It's like, oh, do you want a, a grenade launcher? Uh, a helmet? That kind of stuff. And when you first get it, you are going to have your first two completions of this lure, of this content, give you powerful rewards. So, uh, if you grind a little more, that can go all the way up to four per character. This allows you to target things that are very far behind. Uh, or things are just a little bit behind, and get yourself a giant boost. This kind of takes some of the RNG annoyance out of the system. There's still RNG around. You're still maybe going to do, you know, all your powerfuls, and guess what? They're all feet. The game thinks that you're really into feet, and you just really want a gun. This helps out with that. Um, so what you would do is, let's say you needed a helmet. Select the helmet guy. Choose his other stuff, which the game will tell you what this stuff is too, but for the purpose of this video... All we care about is power. And then you would go do the activity. Let's say you need a energy weapon or feet. And the game is not offering that in these options down here. Which, by the way, you will only have two at the start until you get this improved seeker upgrade. And you upgrade the lure by basically turning in this thing called recon data. Once again, the game will teach you. As you rank up, you'll get more stuff. Pretty standard from season to season. But let's say you don't have anything here that you want or need. I'd recommend, if you can, choosing like the recon data, because if you do this activity and get something that's not a powerful, the game will not consume one of your powerful upgrades. The unfortunate truth is that these four things are randomized as far as I can tell. So if you're in a situation where it's gonna be powerful no matter what, maybe it's like a grenade launcher, arms, helmet, scout rifle, and you're like, well, I don't need any of those things. Uh, you have two options. One, go do other things in the game and just hope that you get what you want. Or two, you bite the bullet and take the thing that can maybe help you the most. That's about it. Uh, but this is really, really helpful. I can't describe to you how nice this is to have. I got 10 power today pretty dang quick. I started at 1240 and at 1250 without much issue at all in my Warlock. It was great. Um, and aside from that, pretty much it. A uh, pretty short way of doing things. The other thing I could suggest if you have things that are dragging behind and you kind of just need like a plus zero to get yourself pumped up by that little bit. Like let's say you need, oh, I need one more little pip here. And if my helmet was a little better, I could just, you know, I'd be, I'd be great. What you can do is in your season pass, go ahead and pull out a helmet because these are guaranteed to be on your current equipped power level. So if you're 1237, it'll come out as 1237. If your helmet's 1232, guess what? You just got a plus five. All these little things, as you learn them, start adding up on top of each other to give you kind of an edge. You're just essentially trying to make the best decision possible as often as you can. Now, the only caveat about this is this can be time consuming uh, because let's say you have stuff that's dragging behind and you don't want to consume a powerful and you don't want to drag anything out of your season pass. Your best bet is just to farm for world drops because uh, they can drop up from negative two to plus zero. And that's what you can do. Now, if you have done everything throughout the entire week and you're like, I still want to grind, I, I can get a little bit more. There's a new thing they added on top of Season of the Hunt, but it was last week when Beyond Light launched. Uh, if you do a playlist activity, Crucible, Gambit, Strikes, there's a chance that on completion, you will get a plus one powerful reward. Uh, usually, I would think I haven't been paying too much attention, but I believe this is always a blue item. I can't recall if I ever got a legendary that's a plus one or not. But basically, you can incrementally get more strength just by playing the game slowly over time. Uh, a lot of these things that I'm telling you kind of rely on how much time you have to invest into the game. If you don't have a lot of time, honestly, just try your best to hit every checklist that you can, like every powerful reward, every pinnacle reward, as best you can, and move on. But realistically, that's everything. That's how I got to where I am. The experience thing, that's just doing a lot of bounties. Don't. <laughs> that's just time consuming, okay? Uh, but yeah, hopefully this was helpful. Um, if you want, you can share this with your friends if they are also struggling, uh, or at least share your knowledge with them from what you've gleaned from this video. Uh, I don't make a lot of video content like this because typically what I do is I try to record something and then I'll edit it for 10 million years because I don't know how to edit and I'm a perfectionist. If you want to see more kind of me talking to the camera explaining things, I don't mind doing that. Uh, just let me know on Twitter because honestly, I don't really look at the comments too much because YouTube, I, I, I'm, I'm soft, okay? I don't have, I'm not strong enough for YouTube comments, all right? 
Uh, but hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, you're always welcome to come to me on my stream because I'm mainly a streamer. I will do my best to answer you, you know, if time permits, all that kind of stuff. But thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.